When my son Chaim returned from a few nights in the Shomron with reports on the topography and the moving landscape scenes there, I asked him to escort me and Yossi on a small Shomron journey. We left the Judean hills in our familiar Gush Etzion region and took Road 60, which used to be the old Road 6 that crossed Israel on its north-south axis. I'm always drawn to water, so our first stop was the Mayan Hagvura, which translates to the Spring of Heroism. It is just below the Yishuv of Eli. It is two pools of water built up by the youth of the Yishuv in memory of Avi and Avital Valensky, a couple that was killed on their way home to Eli. We drove to the peak of Mount Kabir and looked out below into Nachal Tirza, also known as Wadi Farah. The overlook is vast. There is a theory that this valley was the entry route for the Israelites into the area after the Exodus, and there is archaeological evidence supporting this view. At the top of the mountain, there is a tomb, and it seems to be of Sheikh Bilal. We could see Har Grizim and Har Eval, as well as the holy city of Shechem, known also as Nablus. At the foot of Mount Kabir, near Elon Moret, is the beautiful spring of Ein Kfir, which gushes out of the depths of the mountain. An ancient aqueduct leads to the spring, which the Arabs call Ein El Kabira, the Great Spring. A wading pool with shaded areas and picnic tables were built here in memory of Kfir Chezi of Elon Moret, who was killed in Lebanon. <laughs> Our next quick stop was at Vaoto Lam, an organic farm in the Shomong Hills. It's really cool to see that place because we used to buy their delicious yogurt made from goat's milk. Our next stop was Itamar, but what was really special about where we stopped there was the Zimmer that my son stayed in. You'll see the sign. It's a place that enables anyone who wants to come and pay as much as they're able to pay and have a nice, quiet time off. Our last stop of the day, not because we wanted to, we just ran out of time. I'm hoping to stay on my feet here at Mitzvah Matan was the Matan Lookout. It's on the Gidonim Ridge above Itamar. And it was built in memory of First Lieutenant Matan Zagron, an Itamar resident who sacrificed his own life to save others. We covered a lot of ground today. Comment on what you like and what you don't like in places you'd like to see.